All right, so, you know, really exciting win, obviously. Um, you know, in some ways, some similarities last time we played those guys, coming down to basically the last play, and, um, you know, our guys showed up. We said all week, you know, Kentucky's a really good team. They play really hard. They play physical, they play hard. We're going to have to play harder. And you're going to have to counter them because um, Coach Stoops has done that for years, does a great job. And they were physical today. And um, I think in the end there, you know, our guys showed up and and we put it on the D-line that last drive. Said, hey, you got to go take this thing over, you know, because they're going to finally be throwing the ball um, and go win it for us. So that was good to see. Obviously, we got a lot of work to do, things to clean up. Um, crowd was awesome today. Uh, you know, and, you know, it's who knows? Did they fall start at the end because of the crowd and help us win the game? Very well could have. So um, that was awesome to see. Playing twice in the fourth quarter with them driving and an opportunity to go ahead, you guys made plays on defense. What does it say about the job Chris has done with that unit and some of those veteran guys that made plays? Yeah, I think they really believe. They, they play really hard. Um, we did not, you know, because of their pace of play, rotate many guys today. So, you know, guys, a lot of them played the whole game for the most part in the back seven. Um, and, and Chris has done a great job and, you know, rallied the guys. And we've been very multiple at what we've played. And, you know, that's a top 10 team without their running back. So he wouldn't play him before and we all had him ranked in the top 10. So with him, you know, obviously they're even better. So, you know, that's a big time, you know, defensive Defensive day, especially at the end. You've talked about the success coming off the edge all season, but just how validating is it to see those guys when you're only rushing three or four as often as you do get home as often and make those big plays? Um, really big because, you know, we're based out of a three down, and so that's kind of new this year. Um, and part of that is having JJ, uh, who, you know, was able to play some today after being out for a while. And... You know, having some ends, you know, we can play in there that can really rush. And it was great that Ivy made a play there at the end. You know, we always talk about getting better. He'll tell you he was the same guy that didn't make that play basically seven days ago. Similar play, and um, it was awesome to see. With, uh, you know, of course, some shuffling on the offensive line, just curious to know your assessment of that and how you know, certain guys in a certain spot, you know, either rose occasion or what you kind of see out of that? Um, yeah, we did. You know, with the center down, <clears throat> obviously that – you know, that causes issues. Uh, and, you know, we had to double move some guys and play guys at different spots. And, you know, you're in the SEC and, you know, you're playing with two freshman offensive tackles. So, you know, those guys did a good job. Um, Micah, basically his first significant play starting, um, you know, against a very hard defense to play against. Um, you know, I think they did a good job. Lane, yesterday you had the the big announcement in IL stuff. Today you win a, a nice straight regular season game. What do the last two days here mean for the future when you look at, at this program going forward? I mean, I hadn't really thought that way. Um, I didn't even know nine regular season or whatever. Um, but, you know, it was really good timing that, you know, kind of relaunching the collective and even though it's not really us doing it, um, you know, was was really good. So. Uh, that, that'll be important because you won't sustain the success. You guys know I'm honest about it without that. So um, that was really awesome to see the energy around it. But I haven't thought near as much of that as the energy today in the stadium and the walk. And um, you know, like we tell our players, when you play well, that's what you're supposed to do. So keep doing it. We appreciate it. Coach, what does it mean uh, for you and the staff to see this group win this game the way that they did, you know, that term, you know, finding a way to win? When you see a team perform like that, what do you think that does for the team going forward and just seeing their performance today? <clears throat> yeah, I, I think, you know, the game obviously could have went easier if we score there and, you know, go up two scores um, when we're down there and, um, you know, we go for it, which, you know, that's analytics. I'm sure a lot of people didn't like that, but six points doesn't do you a whole lot of good comparable, um, you know, to leaving a team down there um, or going up by 10. So, you know, to to see that, that would have been a lot easier. So I would have liked that better. But when these happen like this, it brings your team together and people got to rise up and they got to make plays. And it was cool because the defense made a play that some people say, okay, well, we won the game. Well, no, there's still two and a half minutes. And they did it again. 
uh, which was huge. Coach, last week you said you wanted Dart to rely more on his passing as opposed to his scrambling and his rushing. He did that tonight, today. Um, how does that make you feel, and what do you have to say about that? I thought Jackson played really well, um, which probably be, I'd be surprised I'd say that with, you know, a 22-point game. But I thought he did really well, had the really poor decision, um, which is much like the Georgia Tech two-minute where he threw the interception you know, which we need to get points there to end the half with some momentum. And, you know, we had a power read where he pulled it that would have scored down on that other, you know, on the other side end zone there. Um, other than that, I thought he played really well, really poised for a hard defense, a big game, um, and made a lot of points. And he seemed very composed. You know, it didn't seem like it rattled him at all. Otis didn't play that first half, and then he comes in the second half and makes a huge fourth down stop. I know we talk about a lot of defensive backs, but just how important is he for, for this defense? Well, I think that, you know, um, you know, can really big. You know, somebody sits the first half and they come back and they're rested. You know, they're back, sat for four games. So he was certainly rested today. So Otis got to sit for a half and came back, you know, excited to play and thought he did some good things in there, and, and we needed him too. Um, cause again, that, that's a hard run game. You know, they, they do really well and, you know, a really good, good quarterback. I mean, their offensive coordinator said he's the first pick of the draft. So, you know, that's pretty good defense to hold him 19 points with the first pick of the draft. Now that it's happened three times, are you starting to get concerned about the second half offense, or is it still you see the indicators and you know that that's not too much of a concern? We'll go back and watch the film. Um, obviously, it didn't feel great again, especially at the end, not to finish out. But, you know, we did move the ball, um, just didn't finish drives there in the third quarter and, and didn't have a lot because of the style that they play with. And that's going to be the case. You're not going to get a lot of chances and got to make the most of them. And, you know, we left the ball down here on the four or five yard line instead of, you know, getting a touchdown. I know you probably don't think in these terms, but there were so many talks about this team not being tested through the first four weeks. How important is it to have proof of concept now against a top 10 opponent? Well, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's one game. Um, you know, let's look at the game as, you know, a coach does. You know, that game could go either way. But really good team. Um, that plays really hard with really talented players and good coaching. So, you know, we're not all of a sudden got everything figured out, you know, because we made a play to win the game at the end. So we got a lot of work to do, um, you know, and excited to get back to it and excited to stay undefeated. Um, a lot has been made of the transfers and freshmen. This is a lot of their first SEC games on this team. How impressed were you by them and their poise taking on not just an SEC opponent, but a top 10 SEC opponent? Well, really good job. I mean, see the offensive stats, you basically got, you know, basically almost all the freshman running back and transfers. So outside of Mingo. So, um, you know, it's good they're coming together. And I think that if they continue to do that, I've always thought from the beginning of the year, this could eventually be a special team special team that got better because they just came together kind of like you know NBA team with a bunch of free agents in the beginning of the year so especially when it's a quarterback too so I've said from the beginning to these guys it's a very talented room it's more talented than the last two years of what we've had but doesn't mean we're gonna be a better team you know we've got to come together and, and do a lot of things coach Michael Trigg obviously had a false start on fourth and one on that first drive and you you let's just say you could have been happier can you just talk about that exchange and, and how he responded to that on the field yeah that would not um pleasant I'm supposed to be on the ball and you know we stopped the play twice whistling over to get him on the ball and so you know is what it is again like you get new players you have young players they come together it doesn't all work and you know it takes some time and um you know Jackson will be a veteran someday and he'll, he'll move the guy on, you know, like, like I was trying to do and, and help him out. So it just was unfortunate because it's fourth and one. They're in a good look. We're just going to hand the ball off and make a first down and end up having to punt because of it. So, but he, he handled it fine. Anything else, Coach? All right, well, why are you
All right, guys.